Hello and welcome back to another episode of PsyQuest where we hustle together to unlock the mysteries of the universe. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most intriguing concepts in theoretical physics, wormholes. The idea of driving through wormholes has fascinated scientists and sci-fi enthusiasts for decades, but is it possible to create them in reality? In this video, we will explore the different ways scientists have proposed to create wormholes including the use of quantum entanglement, exotic matter, and the Alcubierre drive. So buckle up and get ready for a journey through the mysteries of the universe. The first method to create a wormhole involves the concept of quantum entanglement. In quantum physics, Particles can become entangled and share a correlated state. If we can entangle two particles and then separate them, any change made to one particle will instantly affect the other particle, regardless of the distance between them. This phenomena is known as quantum entanglement, and some scientists believe it could be used to create a bridge between two points in space-time. However, this method is still in the realm of theoretical physics and we don't know yet how to control quantum entanglement to create wormholes. Another proposed method for creating wormholes involves the use of exotic matter. Exotic matter is a hypothetical form of matter that has negative energy density. If we could create and control exotic matter, we could use it to create the curvature in space-time needed to form a wormhole. However, the existence of exotic matter is still purely theoretical, and we have yet to discover any real-world examples of it. The Alcubierre drive is a hypothetical method of propulsion that involves creating a bubble of space-time around a spacecraft to move faster than the speed of light. This method would involve compressing space in front of the spacecraft and expanding it behind the spacecraft, creating a wave of space-time that would move the spacecraft forward. Some scientists believe that this method could be used to create a wormhole, but it would require an enormous amount of energy and the technology to create an Alcubierre drive is still in its infancy. Another proposed method for creating wormholes involves the creation and manipulation of microscopic black holes. If we could create and control tiny black holes, we could use them to create a wormhole. However, the technology to create and control black holes is still far beyond our current capabilities. Cosmic strings are hypothetical objects that are predicted to exist in some theories of physics. They are extremely thin and long, and if two were to approach each other, they could create the gravitational field needed to form a one hole. However, the existence of cosmic string is still purely theoretical and we have the Casimir effect is a phenomenon in quantum physics that involves the creation of region of negative energy density between two plates. This effect could be used to create the curvature in space-time needed to form a wormhole. However, the technology to create and manipulate the Casimir effect is still in its early stages. So the conclusion is that creating a wormhole is a fascinating and complex concept that is still in the realm of theoretical physics. While we have proposed several methods for creating wormholes, the technology to achieve them is still far beyond our current capabilities. However, the exploration of these methods is an essential part of advancing our understanding of the universe and the laws that govern it. That's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. We will see you in the next video. Till then, keep looking up and stay curious.